Thank you Mr. very much, Mr. Toastmaster and fellow Toastmasters. I look forward to using this presentation in a couple of weeks for a program that will be introduced to all the directors uh, within the nation and worldwide. So I'll be coming back and practicing this again next week. My oh my, have times changed in one year. What a difference. Last year we talked about, and we actually had a button that said, B and I, I refuse to participate in a recession. Now we got to cancel that and come up with a button that says depression. <laughs> I mean, it's no longer terrorism. We've got pirates. <laughs> We've got drug lords running around Mexico and going to Atlanta and mating our country. Most of all, again, the economy is like a significant thing. For us in BNI, the changes I think are dramatic. We talked last year about how even in bad times, the recession was, was almost of no impact on BNI franchises. The members saw value. They wanted that structure. They wanted that relationship. They wanted the trust of being an organization where there was a code of ethics and a standard by which people could really do business and engage in a, a safe environment for referring opportunities to others. Membership in my region is down relative to the number of people that have lost their jobs, lost their companies, yet the actual total number of members that are engaged has risen significantly. I think there's one core reason for it. It's trust. It's the concept that people really do have fear because of all these issues and these economic times and these challenges. But I think that they even trust more the opportunity to go to a place where they can be with people and to engage in business transactions. And whether they're providing a service or referring a service, referring other members, they feel there's a level of trust that's enormous that's available to them. Stephen Covey's latest book, The Speed of Trust, what he deals with is really exploring some very common elements, some beliefs that we have about how relationships are established. He explores and really expounds upon the cost of the lack of trust or having low trust in organizations and in individuals. When he puts those two things together and really takes and separates, puts them together, mixes them up, kneads them up, and bam, adds a little spice to it, he provides seven key programs or views of how relationships are based on trust but can be looked at in a different fashion. One of the things that he really explains is that you literally have the ability to train people how to develop trust. With that capacity, it talks about taking that ability to train people on how to trust another organization or individual and how to increase the speed with which you can achieve a level of trust that is substantial and significant for yourself and for your organization. Later this morning, there'll be a presentation on a program that's been developed over the last two years and it explores many of the concepts that have made BNI the world's largest organization, the fastest growing, 40 countries, hundreds of thousands of members engaging within our franchise, doing good things based on trust. In the region that I own, we've explored a lot of those common practices, and we've massaged them, and pulled them apart, and put them back together again. We've looked at them differently, and we've added some bam, some spice to them, and we've come up with a program that truly allows you to impact the ability to grow your region, to increase the size of the chapters, the number of the members. These elements have made a significant difference on the success of the members, the success of the chapters. Worldwide, our average number of members in all of the 5,000 plus chapters is just finally over 20 members per chapter. In this region, we have over 30 <coughs> members per average, and the expectation by the end of the year is that there'll be 40 members per chapter. What's the difference? I mean, we had this set of beliefs. We had these great practices that 
we've used from DI for 24 years. What's the difference? What's making that impact? I think a lot of it has to do with trust, but it's been expanded and built. We've taught people to trust in a different fashion. We've taught them to apply it in a different fashion. <coughs> One of the common things that we'll talk about is the application of power teams, and that's the focus of the program. Power teams and how people in related professions can come together and truly, in related ways, related business opportunities, they can provide services at a high level for the people that they're referring to. I'll go into that in more detail, and the program will explain significantly how that has an impact on so many. But again, what we'll talk about are a number of significant elements. There's nine elements within BNI. The law of attraction, we've looked at that. It's become the attraction factor. We've looked at the million dollar question, which is mostly a focus on if we get to know each other, if we get to trust each other, we can generate profitability. If we get to know and trust each other, will you be open and free and able to give me all of your business, your referral opportunities? We've changed that dynamic, so the million dollar question is now, if we get to know and trust each other, is there anything that would stop you from giving a significant portion of your referrals to the power team. Some of those concepts are significant, but the small changes absolutely accelerate and increase the speed of trust so that the power teams and the chapters can grow. With that in mind, you have a choice today. You have three choices. You have the opportunity to go to one session. That would be excellent for my peer. You'll have the opportunity to go play golf, or you'll have the opportunity to come to the program that my region is presenting how to grow powerful power teams to take your regions to 40 members. I trust that you'll make a good judgment in whatever it is that you choose. If you do come to the breakout session that we have on growing powerful power teams, you will know what these concepts are and if you're familiar, you'll know that you may be able to trust them and you walk away with a manual, you walk away with testimonials, you walk away with data so that trust will have something that you can really sink your teeth in and be confident. So I look forward to seeing you.